one point in time you were falsely accused of murder. Um, right, right. You care to talk right. a little bit about that situation and, and what went down with the police? Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. I, you know, like I said, you know, and first let me put it out there that, uh, you know, not only was I kind of like, you know, involved in that shit, but I was using drugs at the time too. You know, I mean, I mean, if you got your in your possession just a plethora of drugs, of course, you know, as a youth, I was like nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, or some shit like that. I've used that shit. I loved it. It was it was the shit, but it kept it had my mind frame to a point where I didn't do shit about nothing else except that money and getting high. You know what I'm saying? Pushing that shit. So so to kind of give you a little bit on the on the police shit, man. You know, like I said, a lot of this shit is touchy, but uh, a lot of the people have been either convicted of some shit or dead or, or, or in jail for life. So we ain't dropping no names, but there was a situation, man, where I didn't know that I was uh, dealing with a police officer until I got arrested and went to jail and saw the dude who just dropped me 280 pounds a week. And he was like, oh, oh shit, hold up. What, what have you done? I got it. And he called somebody and they sent the money and they got me out. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I was like, fuck, okay. You know, I mean, I had no clue this dude. I was in the fucking precinct being booked, and he just happened to pass and say, hold up, what what he done? You know, and he, he paid, you know, he called whoever he called, and they paid my bond and got me out. You know what I'm saying? And I never heard another situation, another peep about that particular situation. So to go a little further, with that said, when shit really got crazy was, you know, my girl was killed, and uh, I, I didn't, like I said, I knew from the uh, arrest that this dude was a police now, so now I'm dealing with this cat. And some shit went on, man, and, and you know, I fucked around and, and took some shit that I wasn't supposed to take because of a, of, of a, uh, a I ain't going to say a disagreement. It was because of, 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 you know, he handled me bad. You know what I'm saying? We was in a predicament where we was in a parking lot with a lot of people, and he's sitting in this badass whip with this chick, and, you know, he, I'm going to the vehicle saying, man, come on, look, make the drop. It's just not the place for this shit. And he's telling me, motherfucker, fuck that. You you know, this and that. You working for me, I da 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 So, you know, after a couple of times of insulting my manhood and integrity and talking to me stupid in front of this female, I just got pissed and said, fuck that, and, and did some shit and took some shit that uh, – didn't belong to me. I mean, some of it w- was supposed to be for me, but, I mean, when I got the bag, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I, I really didn't understand the the, the, the uh, magnitude of the situation because I was just focused on my world. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't give a shit about who else was involved or whatever. But once you see that big picture, you know that's that oh, shit moment. Like, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It was it, it's, it's just crazy because I had no clue the amount of police who was involved with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, that, that's the corruption is deep, man. And I mean, it was all about the dollar, of course. You know, that's all it was about. They didn't give a shit about nothing else. It was it was money. Yeah, just so, uh, you know, so that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, man. I mean, you know, and that's the case with with a lot of shit. To these days, even you know, when you look around at the, the political situation, it's not a they don't give a shit about the people. I mean, if they do, they fooled me, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, everybody flying in jets and all this old different shit. While the people who paying all the money and, and paying taxes three, four times over from shit they work for, you know, ain't they they're struggling while, while all of the big wigs flying in jets and taking their broad to islands and all this old type of shit. You know, but it is what it is. That's a whole other conversation, you know. But uh, the political corruption for the police, man, that shit is, like, historical. They even have a few documentaries on, on, on the corruption of police in New Orleans. I, I've seen a few. And I was like, God damn, I was right in the midst of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But glad I yeah. didn't get caught up to the point where I had to go, 
you know, sit down for 40 years for somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because cause initially, didn't they, uh, um, they were trying to charge you. Well, you, yeah, they did you know. actually. They did actually charge me with the, the murder because, you know, it was, like I said once again, the shit is so crazy and, and it goes so many different directions. What happened was when I when I got to the location of the, uh, the crime scene, my, my mother called me and said, come home now. And I was like, shit, your house or mine? You know, and she was like, your house, you know, uptown. So I was like, all right. So, you know, when I went, everybody was standing outside, and uh, I saw everybody except for my girl. And so I kind of put it together. You know, you can look at the scene and kind of see if she's there. Then something didn't fucking happened. So I jump out the vehicle and, and try to run to the door. They tackled me. So the two officers that tackled me, they took me into and tell you know, they just whipped me in the car and took me off. Now, I had no clue that these dudes was a part of whatever the fuck they was a part of. You know what I'm saying? So when I get to the interrogation office, they handcuff me to the table. They fucking, uh, you know, I'm high as fuck. I'm, 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 I'm high as fuck. I was, I was coked out. I was, I've been snorting coke and shit and smoking blunts and dirty, you know, dirty blunts and shit. <clears throat> but I was still aware of my surroundings. But so they took me in there. They, tied, they, they handcuffed me to the table and went to telling me the first thing they asked me was, where is the dope? Now, they didn't ask me shit about the girl until I fucking denied having the dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> they beat me up, punching me in my face, kicking me in my fucking chest. My fucking face swole up. I could barely talk. You know, they beat the shit out. But they had me in there for eight hours, beating my ass, all behind the drugs. And then somewhere along the line, they went to asking me about the, the, the situation. You know, and I was like, man, I ain't do that shit. And they was like, pop, pop, beating the piss out of me. Because I... I, I I really had no clue to what the fuck was going on until they said something to me because I still had no clue because at the first point, my girl was riding around with my cousin in a brand new Mercedes that her husband had just purchased. So she wasn't even at the crib. You know what I'm saying? So she wasn't even supposed to be home. So I had no clue really of what the fuck was going on, but I still was kind of curious because why everybody else here and, you know, but anyway, so they start getting whipping my ass, they beat me up and shit, asking me what a dope, and then they start telling me situations like, you did this, huh? And I was like, no, I ain't do it. Ah! And they choked me out and had a gun in my head and all this old shit and say, you fucking did it. And, and me, as a 20-something-year-old, you know, I'm like, fuck this shit, I'm trying to live. These motherfuckers want to hear something, I'm going to tell them what they want to hear. I say, okay, yeah, all right, all right, I done it. And they said, well, how you did it? And I said, man, I don't fucking know. And bop, they hit me again. And then they start spilling over the information to me, telling me, you know, what happened or what they thought happened. And, you know, for me to repeat the shit. So they said, you did it like this, huh? And I just repeated what the fuck they said. You know what I'm saying? And for eight, eight hours later, I go and they put me on the tenth floor trying to say I was fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? After they whipped my ass and, and trying to find out where the dope was when I didn't give it up. They just they just pinned me to the fucking murder, you know, and that shit for me was, was was crazy because once I came down and was and was you know in a clear state of mind, I was like, oh fuck, what the fuck I'd have done? And then my lawyer came to me, and he was like, listen, he looked at me first and he was, took pictures and he was like, oh shit, they be, you know this and that, and so I was like, bruh, I said, man, he said, you know, he asked me did I do it, and I said, man, no, I didn't. I said, listen. They beat the shit out of me. They fucking made me say certain shit. So, with that said, he produced a report of of what happened. So, once I saw what happened on this report that he was telling me, the shit didn't link up because they was, they didn't even know what the crime scene was like because they was fresh on the, you know, they didn't even stay there and investigate or whatever and get the whole gist of the story. So, when I, when I found out, I'm like, God damn, all this shit? You know, so... My story didn't match up with what the fuck they made me say. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. for me, you know, after after all of that shit and, and we going to trial and shit, man, I thought I was done for because this you got police involved, you got, you know, all kind of shit happening. So I just thought I was done. I was like, fuck, man, I'm going to prison for the rest of my life for some shit I ain't do. I say all the different shit I done done in my life and, and, and you know, kind of got, got away with for street shit, and I get popped for something like this. Some shit I did do, and I'm about to go to penitentiary for this. 
no, it's not about to happen. So my lawyer, you know, we did work shit out, and we we went on ahead and started getting the fucking case together because I wasn't even I wasn't home. I, my fucking, you know, they found a couple of different fibers of hair and different shit on the scene, you know, and the way they described the crime, man, I'd have been covered in fucking blood. You understand what I'm saying? So they took me straight for, and, and straight to the police station. So for me, I'm, man, look, this is a big fucking deal. So you can understand how many, throughout the you know, history of, of my life, all those years of walking around with, you know, holding on to some shit that I didn't do and never spoke on it and was just living my life, but still running across situations where people were saying, oh, that's that motherfucker who did this. You know what I'm saying? Because I never spoke on it. So they were said one-sided information, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I found not guilty. They didn't have no fucking evidence. They didn't have nothing on me because I wasn't even home. I was somewhere else doing some other shit. So, so you had a rock solid alibi then. Well, yeah, the alibi was rock solid, but if I would have told them actually what I was doing, they probably would have arrested me for that shit. But it was a rock solid alibi because people saw me and, and other people knew that I wasn't fucking home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't even there. Even... Even the 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 the, uh, the, uh, the brother, even he, you know, he came downstairs and he, he he said I wasn't there. But then when it got to the courtroom, he did something different. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of weird to me because first he was in my corner, and then next thing I know, he get in the courtroom and start saying some other shit. But I understand because this your people, and I, I get it. I'm not mad with that dude or nothing. I ain't got no problems with you. Regardless of what you have against me, I'm not going to bash you. I'm not going to do none of that. But it just tripped me out to see that in the courtroom that you, you, you went another way after, you know, what was said. And, and, you know, you know I wouldn't do no shit like this. So her brother you know even saying? said that you weren't there. So that, well, yeah, he, I mean, he said a bunch of shit. He said a bunch of shit. He said know. I wasn't there. He said a lot of stuff. But like I said, I understand because this is this 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 is like this is touching, man. This is family. You know what I'm saying? So who knows what a man gonna do or say when he in the, you know, when somebody you love has been touched like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like I said, I don't I don't I don't have no animosity toward him. You did a bunch of shit, said a bunch of shit. I ain't got no problem with that. You did what you did. I understand. You had to get your anger out. It is what it is. But me myself personally, I would never make a record or, or you know a lot of people saying you should come back with a diss record and say this and say that I'm not into the I'm not going to profit off of somebody's demise that's not my shit you know what I'm saying yeah. my integrity my morals my ethics I brought up the right way even though I took a wrong path I'm not going to do that so that Respect was always that, out man. of the books for me yeah no man no doubt because that was never on the plate on, on the table for me I'm not going to come back saying what I'm going to do or what this and that and I'm not doing that that's you know this G shit. I'm not no damn plastic rapper or plastic MC. This truth for me. No. So if I speak it, I'm gonna do it. If I if I make a threat, I'm not gonna. So that's some shit that I'm not into. You know what I'm saying? And I had very much compassion. I even reached out a couple of times to try to, you know, talk with the family and, and let them know. Look, man, this wasn't me. I didn't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you ever find the killer? people or killers. Nah, well, I'm going to tell you like this. When I when I come home, anybody I felt like had something to do with it, I, you know, kind of was, it was some court, street court shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just some street shit. But, I mean, you know, that's a that's a thing that for me, too, is still kind of fucked up. It's like they never really said, you know, they never found somebody to charge the shit. You did? Because, like I said, it was just so much. You can't really, I didn't even know where to look. But if I felt like somebody had something to do with the shit, I did what I had to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it was just too many layers to the shit, man. You got police, you got fuck. You know how many people they was trying to protect? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, lawyers and, and and judges and everything who was all corrupt in that whole little circle. You know. And when I when I would tell people that shit, they were like, "Oh, you tripping and this and that. You 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 crazy and or whatever." But man, this shit was layers. It wasn't just no about me. This shit was bigger than me. So look, while I'm in court. Like, I was in court, bro, facing this shit, right? Matter of fact, I was on trial the same time OJ was on trial. And so I had to watch that and then watch myself. I'm like, damn, they put OJ on, then they put me on. And I'm like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? And so while I in during court, they had some weird-looking fellas in there that I knew wasn't a part of his side of the family or my side of the family. They were just dudes in there, and they would just sit there and look. So every time I looked to the back, a motherfucker would be 
you know, looking at me just sitting there, you know. And, and when I say weird looking dudes, I'm talking about, you know, some, 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 not some just street shit. I'm talking about some, 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 some mafia looking type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or, or lynchman type shit. Oh, yeah, mafia is big in New Orleans, man. Yeah. Man, uh, and, and, and you got to realize with the police and with all this shit going on, you don't know who is who. So, I, you know, for me to try to say I could have an idea of who did it, man, them people going to kill. I even got threat letters to say if you say any fucking thing about the drugs, about anything, we're going to kill your fucking family. Mm. They named family members. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I'm going to shut the fuck up and take the charge. I'm not going to jeopardize I just, nobody I, else. I can see. You know? Well, not, not to cut you off, uh, Damien, but I yeah. can see why you've been carrying this around because it's like you said, it's so complex. You had the cops beat you. You had, uh, um, you know, put a gun to your head, force a, a, a false confession out of you, try you up for murder. I mean, how did you, you know what I'm saying, get through all this? And and, and not to mention losing a, a, a girlfriend right. to murder. Right, Man, listen, the whole time I was in jail, I fucking, I mean, I was just looking to wake up from a fucking dream, bro, because there was no way. We got the number one record. I'm, I'm, you know, we number one in Japan. We had a record in Japan over a lot of big artists at the time. There was no way I looked at my life that it would take that turn. You know what I'm saying? And so for me in jail, bro, I just was like, fuck. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And, I, and you know, once we went to trial and, and uh, they reviewed all the evidence and the jury went in and they came back without a doubt, not guilty, you know, I fucking, I had to move away from the city. And not just, you know, I'm going to say not just because of the family, but because of all of the other shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get the fuck, man. So I went, I went and moved to Mississippi for a little while just to get out of the city. Because I knew that some other shit was going to go on. And like I'm saying, it wasn't even about retaliation for her. It was about the other shit. Because I took some shit from some some, some powerful motherfuckers. So I had, to, I had to jet. You know what I'm saying? And, I still, and, and the trip part is, when I did jet, motherfuckers still found me. And was sending messages and, and you know. I, so, you know, that's, that's beyond reachable. And, and some of the shit, like I said, I'm really trying to skate around a bunch of shit. Because I don't want no shit to come back from that because like I said a lot of people some of the people are still moving around I don't know where the fuck they're at but some of the people are dead in jail and some of the people are still on the police force you know what I'm saying so yeah. who knows what's going to even come from this conversation we're having right now I mean they might have a lot of shit come out behind this but you know well, I, it's I just, hope uh, I hope nothing uh, nothing you know, bad like that happens well, yeah, man, no because uh, you know it's uh yeah it's 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 always it's always very touchy man when you're dealing with uh you know same murder and, and and all this corruption and and complexity involved, um, but yeah the the cops man um unfortunately they do that to so many people we I interviewed on another show somebody from the Innocence Project and they were telling us the statistics of people getting put in jail and death row. I mean, there, they put people to death, you know what I'm saying? You could have very right. well easily been put to death. How how long did the uh, trial last? Man, it lasted about, I said, <coughs> let's see. So from about the end of 94 to, 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 to 95, 96, so the trial went on for like about Eight days, nine days, or some shit like that. And uh, every day I went to court, bro. I would see the family. I even see saw the, the little um, my little stepson at the time. He looked at me and said, "When you came and when you coming home?" You know, and that shit fucking shook me, bro. Because I'm like, God damn, you know. It, it just was like a, a fucking movie, man. I'm telling you, it was like some shit that you want to wake up from. And I mean, just going to try going in there every day, knowing that I can lose I, my life could be over. And, a, and just, you know, in a couple of minutes Behind some shit I didn't do Now had I done some shit Hey, give me my shit Give me my ticket You know what I'm saying? But for some shit I did do I'm not going to go to penitentiary for the rest of my life So I fought But at the same time It wasn't even in my hands It was up to God and up to the jury You know what I'm saying? And I mean, they know They had to know something Because they went in there And they reviewed the evidence You know what I'm saying? And they saw There was nothing for me there 
Even yeah. my clothes. I said the same shit on. They said something about my clothes and this and that. But fuck, man, if I would have did what they say I did, dude, you would have found blood all over me. Because when I looked at the reports and I seen the way they, you know how they draw the little, the little shit up for you. And, you know, when he was describing this shit to me, they even showed me pictures, bro. I could have fucking shit on myself, man, looking at this shit, bro. You know, it, it really was touching and had me in a, in a, in a, in a tearful, I wanted to bust out crying every day in the fucking courtroom, but, you know, I wasn't going to do that shit. I, I just had to hold that shit. If a tear did come down, I hurt and wiped that shit. I didn't want to, it's not what I was in there for. I'm in here to get the fucking justice system to, to really do their fucking job, and they did it. You know what I'm saying? I knew I didn't do it. And these people, oh. I, I even ran into one of the jurors, bro. Now, this some trip shit. Check this out. Now, had I been a fucked up person out here wilding, doing dumb shit, you know, I ran into one of the jurors, bro. We was in the mall. I ran into the juror, and this lady said, hey, how you doing? You don't know me, but I know you. I was I sat on your jury. And I was like, what the fuck? I said, wow. I said, hey, how you doing, my lady? I said, you know, it was real nice, and we talked and shit. And the only reason I'm even saying that is because think about if I was just a fucked up dude and was out there doing some dumb shit, and this lady saw me and would have been like, damn, I should have voted guilty. You know, you know what I'm saying? Even though the evidence was there, but it just will show you if you if you you know run across a person like that and you see their actions, she knows she made the right choice based on the evidence first, and then the person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that whole ordeal, man, was 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 really crazy for me. Kind of got me blackballed from the industry and all kind of shit, bro. So, you know. It's what it is. It, that's what but, I was going to ask you. Like, how has it been for you? Uh, you know, what I'm saying in the music industry, but you just pretty much answered that. Um, yeah, yeah. Have Black you ever have like you ever talked without, to her brother since? Go ahead. I, I, okay. I said, have you ever talked to uh, um, Michelle's brother since, or no? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I saw him a couple times. One time was in the mall, and I, I you know, they were signing autographs and shit. You know. Uh, and I went up and I, I said, uh, he didn't even know it was me until he looked up. And I said, this, you know, he said, who you want me to put on there? And I told him my name and he looked up and I said, what's up, bro? We need to talk. And he was like, man, my mom was trying to get in touch with you. And I was like, well, shit, man, just tell her, call me. You know what I'm saying? And from there, it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? They, no, no response, no reach back, no none of that. Then I saw him another time. But that incident was real, real briefly. And I don't even think he knew who I was. Or if he did, he didn't really acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? So, no, we haven't really talked except that one time when I saw him in the mall signing autographs and shit with, uh, I, I forget the company at the time. It was, you know, a bunch of them in there. Uh, but anyway, nah, no, no conversation. I've tried to reach out, but the cat that I did reach out to, he told him, you know, he don't fuck with me. So I understand I'm not going to push the issue. It's what it is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but, uh, but you you said you never spoke about this before. How does it feel to get it off your chest, so to speak, and get your side of the story out there? Man, listen, <laughs> it feel like a ton of bricks been lifted off my shoulders, man. Because you have no clue. I mean, I didn't lived in a bunch of different states, and not to you know, not by to say living in different states for running or no shit like that. Because I always have been public. I've been in New Orleans, doing shows, doing all kinds of shit. I, I, it wasn't like I was trying to hide, but I wasn't a fool. I wouldn't go around, you know, I just it's just certain stuff I wouldn't do because I do have a street history. So, you know, we're not dummies. You know, you're not going to just be at the second line, you know, all out there every time. You know, if you pop in at the second line, you pop in, but, you know, that's it. But, but man, that shit is so crazy because once I – once you know, to get this shit off my chest and to really just let people know I did not do it is 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 beautiful, and I feel good because I walk around with that every day. Like I said, I lived in different cities, so every time somebody or like I would apply for a job or some shit, and my name would come up. This I saw this shit stretched. My name, you know, they look at my name and they say, "Oh, you're part of the um the Neville family," and this and that. And then immediately after that. Would be like, um, you got a cousin or somebody that was accused for that, 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 and so to be the man that I am, I say, well, 
yeah, that's not my cousin. That's me. I said, and I, yeah, I was accused. I said, I find not guilty. I didn't do it. Yeah, da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? And this is like every fucking city I went to, somebody would hit me with that shit. And so I'd be like, fuck, man, you can't get away from this shit. And I'm not trying to hide. It's just like the Hurricane Katrina happened. When I come home, Katrina happened. You know, so I wound up in Texas. Then another situation happened. I wound up in Dallas. And then another situation. I wind up in fucking, uh, 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 and, and, uh, fuck, uh, Florida for a minute. And, you know, it was on a low, but just different areas. And every time, bro, the shit would come up. So it, it kind of felt like, what the fuck can I do with my life without somebody bringing that shit back to me? Some shit that I was found not guilty for that I did not do. You know what I'm saying? How many times is this shit going to hit me in the face? You know? Yeah. So to actually finally let the world know, whoever hear this shit, this ain't no shout out to beat with no beef with nobody. This is for me to say I didn't fucking do it. So if you're going to like me, you like me. If you're not, then hey, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But this is my truth. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.